Yeah, that one down there. Open that. Probably the other way. It opens that way. Yep. All right, y'all. We have a second round of beans from this first bean plant I planted. These are have put on some little beans, but they're not quite ready. So I'm going to fertilize these two that we planted together. And this right here is going to get up potted. require some dirt around it which is to be expected so I'm gonna get that so it's clogged up down there somewhere is that water cold or is it warm it's cold how cold oh no hypothermia cold Hello and welcome back to the vlog. I just wanted to take this time to say hello, hello, hello. Thank you for coming back to hang out with me. If you're a new subscriber, thank you. If you're an OG, what's up? Please continue to like and subscribe and enjoy today's video. I want to up pop this banana, so I'm going to put some rain holes in this pot. And then we're going to fertilize while we're down here as well. When you see this video, it will be definite. Uh, so I want to up pot this banana tree that's been sitting over here. When you guys see this, um, it, this will be a pre 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 record because the holidays are coming up. <laughs> but I want you to still see what I've done in the garden until you know we catch up getting ready for the um, Christmas holiday. 
Got it? Okay, cool. And then last thing, when you look on, when you go out in the garage on the left side and get me another bag of the backfill cow manure. So we're gonna fish fertilize down here today. But first I want to get this banana tree up potted because it has grown a lot. I'll show it to you. Hey, Belle. Come here, let me use you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Perfect. I want to get that banana tree in this pot and that will give me some time because these things grow super quick and it's beautiful and I wanna get it up potted and I'm gonna move this plant over. That way I have two white pots when I step down here. Um, I also wanna show you guys, look at these eggplants. I'm about to harvest them, but these, these uh, Ikebon eggplant plants have just been the true garden champs out here. Um, because these plants I bought back in the, er, in the spring and it is of course autumn and they are producing really well. So next year, this pot will be dedicated just to Ikebon eggplant. Kalmanuri.
Okay, you notice we hadn't had the stream running because these things clog up, but you see it's running, it's murky, so I'll have to start my uh, com um, composting bucket again to get some beneficial bacteria in. There are still gourds out there, but I want to show you just how tall that gourd plant got. If you look up, focus on that tree you see two gourds in the top of this tree and I'm gonna back up so you know how high that is that gourd plant climbed from the ground that's probably 12 feet up it climbed from the ground starting right there and went all the way up 12 feet to hang those gourds up there like Christmas ornaments isn't that cool Wow God creates just the coolest plants, flora and fauna. Hey guys, I just wanna catch you up. So you saw that I had planted this one, but I planted this one and I got this big basil. You remember it was over here, but I just went ahead and pulled the lavender and that big basil out of this pot because you see how underdeveloped this citrus tree is while the others have grown this year. Um, I, I want this tree to get more healthier so I pulled the basil out, even though it was companion planted, and I'm gonna let this tree sit. And then I'm going to, this, it's in a top pot, um, if you can see this. So it doesn't go very far down, but I'm gonna remove it from this and just plant it in this so that it can um, get deeper roots this year. Show you this beautiful creature here though. Look at this beautiful bee. I pulled this plant, the bee was on the plant, uh, laid the plant down, repotted the plant, and this bee never came off to cause any trouble. So shout out to this beautiful carpenter bee.